Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video. So today I'm talking about my February favourites. There's not many, so this will probably be just a quick video. I've got four products that I've been loving throughout February. Now, I'll be completely honest, I, t I took a little bit of, not a, like a month off, but like, because I have been so busy getting this room sorted, as I've mentioned before, everything was just all in boxes in my mum's room, so I didn't, I wasn't able to fully like look at everything and see what products I've got to try. So there's not that many favourites this month. But now that I'm all sorted, we'll have a good favourites for March. So there is only four products today, so I'm just gonna quickly talk through them, why they've been my favourite and if I'll be repurchasing. So let's start off with cleanser. So it is Sarah Chapman's Ultimate Cleanse, which I absolutely love. You can see it's practically empty. There's a little bit left in the bottom. This is from the travel section. It's ideal for traveling. I go to Cornwall quite a lot, actually. My friend lives there, so I'm always down there. Sometimes I fly, sometimes I drive. So when I'm flying, things like this are so handy to have. They just go in your, your little clear bag. So yeah, I love this. This was £16.50, and it's just... A gorgeous cleanser it's the it's the ultimate cleanse you get a larger size for i think 44 so if you did want to try it but obviously you don't want to pay the full amount try the smaller size first lovely lovely balm cleanser absolutely love it and it's so nourishing as well on the skin so i've been loving this as you can tell so yeah i just love sarah chapman as a whole like i just do i love sarah chapman i love the brand i love i say this so many times but i do i just love it like how clean and nice does this look i love the color schemes it's just it's just a bit of me but yeah so that's that then let's talk about exfoliators i'm not i do exfoliate i use i'll use like acidic toners on a daily basis and then i will do actual exfoliations but i haven't i haven't found an exfoliator that i absolutely love for a while like i've been just using the same exfoliator which is the your good skin one i think i'm nearly out of that as well but my friend, Laura, who does the skin prep, she has created a, is it a gel? Yeah, a gel, a gel foam. So my friend Laura, she has created a skin polish. So it looks like this. She's, she's got the brand skin prep. I absolutely love the product. So when she gave me this to try, I honestly really do love it. And my skin felt so great afterwards. It really did. It is a gel formula. It's like a greenish colour. I'll just quickly show it on the back of my hand. It looks like this. You just massage it into your skin. It does. I will be honest. It does work into a little bit of a lather. Usually, I'm not. You know, I'm not a fan of anything that lathers up, foams up, anything like that on the skin. But this is actually fine. Like, and you can feel the grit in it. It does really give your skin a good polish. Hence the name. Smells great too. Smells of all amazing ingredients. Like that's one thing with her. She's all about natural, amazing ingredients for your skin. So, I've only been using this like maybe a week or two. Oh, ignore my nail as well, it's chipped. So yeah, I've only been doing it, like, using it for, like, a week or two, but honestly, I love it. It says, apply to dry or slash damp face. I'm, I prefer it on dry. Massage in one, for one minute, avoid the eye area. Leave for one minute, rinse with warm water. Gently using gentle motions to remove pat dry with clean towel. It does say it contains AHA. Yeah, so I love it. It just gives me a nice overall polish, really. So, favourite for February. And then, this is a tan. This is the James Reed Sleep Mask. I wore this when I went down to London. Loved it. it as you all know, I'm not a fan of putting a body tan on my face. I don't like anything like that. I don't like anything that clogs the skin. I prefer to use specific face tanners. So, I've been loving, like, the U-Tan Coconut Water. That's, like, so hydrating gorgeous on your skin it doesn't clog my skin it's nice and light that's what i prefer so when i've seen this james reed it's the self tan sleep mask and it's in the dark it is just like i won't use it because it, it is actually tan but it's just completely clear let's see if i can yeah let's see i'll put a little tiny bit here so it, it's just completely clear it's just like a gel there it is just completely like a gel put it on if i might you wake up like a golden goddess Needs I say more, but yeah, it is such a nice product. As I say, nice and light and airy, doesn't clog the skin, but it just gives an overall gorgeous glow. I'm not sure if you can get it in other shades. Let's just have a little look. I presume you will be able to. Sleep tan face. You get 50 ml of product. It is how much is it? How much did I pay? £25. Pounds. You can get it in Marks and Spencer. You can also get it off Feel Unique. You can get it in John Lewis also. It doesn't say 
if they do other shades. Ah, it's actually won, it's in the Vogue Top 100. It's won a lot of awards from Stylist Magazine, Best Overnight Tan, Best Gradual Tan. Yeah, it is a gradual tan. I don't like anything that shows tan straight away. I prefer more gradual. I feel with a gradual tan, it looks more natural. It looks more luminous. I just personally prefer a gradual tan as opposed to a tan what you can see. Having said that, I have used, I've used the elixir from L'Oreal, which Laura, who's got the skin prep, she also recommended me to try. You can see where that's going, but it's like, it's got like full of hyaluronic acid. It's so thin and lightweight, so it doesn't pack the skin or clog the skin, anything like that. But I do really love this. It's got 4.2 4 out of 5 stars. Everyone's loving it. The best sleep tan mask ever. Sage, Janine. Janine, I'm with you on that one, sister. Value for money. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, I do really love this. And then last up. I've never even heard of the brand before. I've never even really used any of the well, I hadn't. I hadn't used any of the products. And it was only when... Oh, it's a little bit dirty, actually. One minute. Yeah, I've never heard of the brand before. I was... When I got my beauty advent calendar, they had some, like... I separated everything into, like, face stuff, or stuff like that, body stuff. So I've got, like, a box of just body cream. So this was in, and it's from... Amelia Rate, I think it's called. And it's called the Transforming Body Lotion. It looks like this. Wow, it is so lovely. Like, I've got, oh, there is a little bit left. So there's a little bit left. It looks like this. And it's just so lightweight. A little bit does really go a long way. So I used it for the first time, like, a couple of weeks back. I've literally got nothing left. Now, what I like to do, I like to do just before I go to bed, put it all over my body, and it's so gorgeous on the skin. But, yeah, I honestly really do love it. I've literally got not much left, but... I think the Beauty Advent Calendar is like the show ideal for things like that just because like I would have never known to pick that up and because it was in there I was like oh I'll try it I've just got like a little box as I say of all skincare and this was in it I just want to quickly see how much it is okay so it is £14.50 for the 100ml and then this was the 50ml as I say I don't know how much it would be but I really do love this so I will be the purchase and more of it absolutely love it so amazing yeah that was all really just a nice quick video of my february favorites as i say it wasn't much I only got four this month but i've got already a list for march favorites so stay tuned for that but hope you all enjoyed it as i say it was just nice short and sweet i hope you all have a lovely day and i'll see you on the next video bye